There are questions being raised about a plan by some provinces to delay the time between the first and second vaccine doses by four months. About a dozen doctors, scientists and immunologists from Ontario and Quebec have sent a joint letter to Canada's chief public health officer and provincial officials. Abigail Beeman is following this for us tonight. Abigail, what are their concerns? Donna, a draft of the letter obtained by Global News says, quote, partial protection from a single dose extends vulnerability to infection by 13 weeks, specifically highlighting concerns around variants. There is actually no science or evidence to support this decision. It, to some degree, it is an experiment because we don't have hard clinical data. Vaccine manufacturers call for a three or four week lag between doses, depending on which vaccine. Canada is stretching that period longer than other countries to four months. And the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, which made the recommendation, acknowledges no data exists for that period of time yet. In response to the letter, Canada's top doctor says real world data constantly coming in shows efficacy is high after a two month stretch and isn't expected to decline fast. Increasing the flexibility of um, the ability of the provinces to deliver that first dose, which is really safe and effective to as many people as possible to prevent deaths and hospitalizations, is paramount. The letter calls for, at the very least, some mechanism to make sure the elderly and people in high-risk groups can get their second dose on the manufacturer's schedule. Ontario, for one, has said that will be the case for people in care homes, but at this point, no one else. Donna? All right, Abigail Beeman in Ottawa, thank you.